Well, we have been using uh, 4S, 3S on this new build. Um, these axles, I'm thoroughly impressed with them. They're really taking the beating. I uh, put overdrive in the front of the axles. We still haven't uh, broken any of the stubs or any of the, the drive shafts. Uh, I have bound it up to the point where I've popped out the middle uh, drive shaft twice now and we've actually broken uh, the rear pin in one of the rear ones. Uh, so the stress is going on through the axles uh, legitimately and we have not had any issues breaking them. Uh, the, the longer one that's in here is the stock one. The one that is on the right, the shorter one, is the Rhino RC uh, shaft that I uh, also bought to try out to find out if uh, they had any quality issues. Now that is a shorter shaft. I haven't tried the longer one yet. Um, so we're probably going to end up putting a longer one in there to see if the quality is the same as these ones. But I'm actually pretty surprised with the, the this brown metal uh, has held up quite well. Um, I've lost my nut on my rear tire a couple times. So I think it's time to put some new nuts on there as the... Uh, the nylon is worn out, but uh, those are extremely good axles. They have not worn very easily. I have a lot of a lot of scrapes and scratches on them now. Um, they're holding up way better uh, than I thought they would. So they were definitely worth the hundred dollars that I paid for them. The uh, the crawler that we got here is slowly, slowly, slowly uh, uh, evolving. Uh, we're changing link mounts, shocks, things like that uh, to further its adventure into the RC world. Uh, slowly getting better and better and better. And yeah, uh, next thing we'll be doing is a motor whenever that shows up, probably after the weekend. So uh, yeah. I just broke a drive shaft. Yep, just broke that. Them cats rock crawling up my rock. Hello, <laughs> guys.